Material thickness or active feed settings is something that you'll want to address um, when dealing with different thicknesses of garments. The machine and the software know how long the stitch is and they know about how much thread you want underneath. So they know about how much to feed except they don't know how thick the material is. So it will listen and it can adjust for that but it's good to give it a little bit of a guideline. So when we're dealing with this and we're dealing with something like a cap or a t-shirt or a hoodie, you've got all these different thicknesses and how do you kind of figure that out? Um, you, you will take that material and the backing. Don't forget the backing because you're going to be sewing through it as well. And you kind of figure out about how thick that is. And you're going to be dealing with that um, in, in tenths of a millimeter. That's actually what that number um, is set for. So to adjust these settings, uh, you can go into your software. In the software, we have a minimum and a maximum. If the maximum is checked, you can say don't feed more than this amount. If it's unchecked, it will go ahead and adjust as needed. The minimum gives it a floor. So it says whatever you do, don't feed less than this amount. And then this number will be what it is doing. And that's if everything is in auto. If you want to just feed out one specific, very even amount of thread, you can click on standard and specify what you want it to do. Um, typically, I'm going to be running an auto. It may run over more threads, something I've embroidered before, a seam in a garment, and this allows it to adjust for that. As you're running, the blue box below will fill in as a little graph and you can actually watch it as it's sewing, look like a little bit like an EKG. Um, and what you may choose to do is increase that minimum till you see it fairly, fairly even with the only occasional bump. And that's gonna give you a fairly even sew out.